in this video we will see how to extract each word from the given image for example in our case this is the input image so from this image we will cut all words one by one and we will sequentially arrange them so as like like this you can see here so we will uh, we'll cu cu cut all the words one by one and we will feed their uh, names sequentially into the text file okay so which we can feed one by one to our deep learning model which we already trained in our first part so i will show you the result so now if i feed image now you can see here each word by one each word one by one have been selected here okay now they will be cropped they will be cropped and they will be saved here in the folder okay that you can see sequentially it will be perfect the doorman turned his attention to the next door like this okay so all these uh, word images if you feed it to our first part model it will give a result okay for that we, uh, we are going to use this repo the name is github herald so he done a great work in building this okay we will going to see and we will going to check exactly how we can extract each word like this for example sentence wise 0 1 nothing but 0 sentence first word 0 sentence second word 0 sentence third like one first sentence 0 word like this okay it means we will get sequential data here so now we will going to see the coding part entire coding part don't skip anyway okay don't skip anyway in the end i will be giving you some tips okay i am not entirely using this work okay to this work we need to add our own uh, extensions to get our required re result here this will give us only for image it will give us a rectangular box but we need to take out these words and we need to save it we need to feed it to our deep learning model that part i done extensively so if you follow this video continuously you will be getting some good idea and result which will help you to implement it very easily now we will see the coding part which i written here so initially i will import all the libraries which are required so among them you can see here from word detector i am going to import detect function prepare image and sort multiple lines so what are they and what they will do we will see in depth one by one okay so initially what i will do i will take one empty list here so here what i am telling is list of image names serially okay so which are serialized so for that i am going to take one empty list where i will going to append those images okay which i cropped from the original image that word images okay so there is a function to get the uh, files so in our case uh, in the code i return you can see here. so from the data i i am just uh, by default i am fetching from data from page whatever the images are there if i have multiple images also i will fetch all the images one by one okay so i am giving this part to load the input image so once that is done i am setting some parameters so my data data path i should mention okay what is the kernel size i should mention by default it will be 25 that is 5 cross 5 and what is the sigma value theta value you should if you want to mention you can mention it manually otherwise by default value will be taken and what is the minimum area and what is the image height okay all these things you can change if you want you can change them and you can feed it but if you don't mention anything by default values will be taken now this is a main function which i return here what will happen actually once any input image comes okay once i will read the image using uh, this one get image file so this function will read that original uh, image okay in our case this image okay then this image it will read and then uh, what i will do is i will take that image and i will 
I will give it to a function called prepare image. Okay, where is this prepare image and what is its task? When you input the image to prepare image function, you can see here that image will be taken and converted to grayscale first, and then it will be uh, having two factors. Okay, to uh, resize it, maybe to upscale or downscale. You call them as a uh, scaling factor. So we'll get two scaling factors: fx and fy, and a grayscale converted image from the prepare image. So here you can see. Uh, so our output. From this will be a grayscale image. That is, IMG now is grayscale. So then we will ask, uh, we will call another function called detect. Okay. To that we will feed this image by uh, giving particular kernel size sigma theta, which we defined here. Okay. Otherwise, by default value will be taken. And with all these features, that image will be fed to this function called detect. What this detect will do? So here you see once the grayscale image if you feed to this detect function it will read that image okay then it will take that kernel size okay compute kernel it means it will create that particular kernel or we say filter or an array matrix okay array of matrix to uh, to make uh, to build a threshold uh, function we need this kernel so after that we will feed that image okay with this particular kernel for filtering okay. uh, it will do uh, 2d filtering okay why because our uh, image is 2d image we will do uh, 2d filtering with this kernel this will be 5 cross 5 kernel once that output comes we will apply thresholding okay what is this thresholding uh, for example um, there are so, so many multiple uh, ways of doing thresholding what really threshold image for example if uh, there is one image uh, that's grayscale image nothing but black and white if there is some part which is not that much brighter okay we, we keep a threshold in 0 to 255 like that okay 0 nothing but it will be entirely white 255 nothing but it will be entirely black you can uh, keep a threshold in our values must go range between 0 to 255 some other colors some other settings will be removed like that okay? and then what is finding contours finding contours this function will just uh, cover up the area the continuous area uh, for example I will So, for example, if there is a word say mod AI contours, which uh, which will give us where the continuous data hides. If I is here, it will be having its own contour. That's a area or the region you say. Okay, uh, to detect that, we use this contour function will calculate what is the total contour area if we get to know where that contour area is there then what we will do is we will ask to bound a rectangular box, box around it like this okay all these things you saw in the result but how they are happening that you can see in the code so once this is done our data will be appended okay this box like one one box there our results will be appended now I will take those result. I will sort them because I will be getting continuous boxes, rectangular boxes surrounding with each word. But I will sort them. Okay, whatever the result comes as a detection, I will sort them. And now what I will do? Okay, this is the extra code which I written here. So here what I am doing is whatever the bonding boxes come to me. 
okay i will take each one and you can see here i will save them as an images i will write okay cv2 or uh, w uh, i am right i am doing this is i am right is a function of open cv where you can save the image okay so that uh, box will come now that each box i will uh, call it a crop image that crop image i will save one by one each word i will save and their names i will push them to this list list image name serial so all the list will be saved into that and it that list values will be saved as a text file okay. this is the way that i am doing to save the images here so how results will look like results will be like this each word cropped okay with the rectangular box like wherever the rectangular box form that rectangular box content will be cropped that each word will be cropped and they will be serially saved line 0 word 0 line 0 word 1 if it's saved uh, not serially then you can't uh, feed them one by one to your deep learning model and you get the proper result so if it able to if you able to crop them serially then only you can do something even you can uh, save it okay as i mentioned you can save that serially here so uh, this 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 is the main key once if you get these uh, things done you can feed those images one by one to the part one and you get you can get the result so this video was uh, asked by so many people that's why i made this video because you can able to do first part very easily but for the second part you are uh, struggling a lot so if you like this video just like and subscribe and share it to the people who are in need they may get a good idea and they may implement it in a better way thank you thank you very much